tonight I'll be synthesizing vanilla alcohol via the reduction of vanillin with sodium borohydride. First, let me get on my gloves. Now that my gloves are on, let's go over what we're going to need for this reaction. The primary reactant is going to be vanillin, of course, and I have three grams of it in this 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Next, for the reducing agent, I'm going to need 0.75 grams of sodium borohydride. First, I have to weigh it out, and before I weigh it out, I have to get it out of the fridge. Are you kidding me? Scale turned off, what the hell? There we go. 0 0.75 grams of sodium borohydride. Now this 0 0.75 grams of sodium borohydride are going to be dissolved in 5.7 milliliters of a 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Now the vanillin is dissolved in 6 milliliters of ethanol. Of course it won't all dissolve immediately and will take a few minutes to fully dissolve. While the vanillin's dissolving, I'm going to go ahead and gather some snow from outside to form a cooling bath. I just gotta process the snow so it's not in giant lumps. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this solution of vanillin and ethanol cool down just a little bit, probably about five minutes. Then I'm going to slowly begin addition of borohydride.
Now that the mixture has had about 15 minutes to set, I can begin acidifying the mixture with 15% hydrochloric acid. You only want to go till it's just acidic. This will evolve hydrogen, so do keep that in mind. Go slowly and with stirring. So here's the final vanilla alcohol after recrystallization from hot water. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Late Night Chemistry. You may like if you want to, or subscribe if you want to. But thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Many thanks as always to my Patreon supporters for making these videos possible.